it's Beth and welcome back to my channel. Today's look is a very natural look inspired by Megan during the royal wedding. I watched it yesterday and it was so, so, so beautiful. Comment down below if you watched a royal wedding. <laughs> Watch me get no comments. Not because no one watched the royal wedding, but because no one watches my videos. Anyway, if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. So starting off with moisturizer, I'm taking my Superdrug Vitamin E Skin Care SPF 15 Moisturizing Day Cream. I used to never wear SPF but to keep my skin healthy and protected from the sun, it's time to put on some SPF. <laughs> and then I'm gonna give my face a spritz of the Mara Badesco Facial Spray, and this one is the Cucumber and Green Tea one. To make my skin look like natural dewy skin, I'm gonna skip foundation and primer and just go straight onto concealer, just to correct some discoloration and blemishes on my face. I'm taking my Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Concealer for under my eyes, and my e.l.f. concealer for my blemishes and I'm blending it out with my Real Techniques sponge. Onto powder, I'm gonna lightly set underneath my eyes and maybe my T-zone just to keep the dewy look of the skin. The powder I'm using is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. For bronzer, I'm taking my Kiko Milano Beach Break Bronzer in the shade Sienna, and I'm just gonna go in with a really light hand because she had a really natural look, and I don't wanna make this into a full glam look. And also a bit on the nose. Then taking my Collection Soft Glow Blusher, again going with a soft hand, I'm going to lightly brush it, or pat, <laughs> onto my skin to give my skin some life and colour. Onto highlight, I'm going to try and restrict myself and only put a bit of highlight on and not make it blinding. That's going to be a challenge because if you know me, you know I love highlight. So taking my e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in Moonlight Pearls, I'm just going to lightly apply it on the high points of my cheek and also on my nose. Okay, on to brows. I'm taking my NYX Precision Brow Pencil in black and I'm gonna draw on some brows. On to eyeshadow, I'm taking my Revolution Reloaded Iconic Fever Palette. I'm gonna take this shade and put it all over my lid and then go in with a mixture of these two and go closer to my lash line. Then for eyeliner, I'm taking my Kate Slim Gel Pencil to line my eyes, and then I'm going to take this shade from the palette just to smudge it out. I just popped on my Kiss Iconic Lashes, and that's the eyes done. Now I'm going to take my MAC Brunette Eyebrows Crayon, and I'm going to create some faux freckles. I'm just lightly tapping and twisting at the same time to give it a natural look. Then onto the last step, lips. She had a really nice nude lip, so guess what I'm going to take? I'm going to take my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Abu Dhabi and put it on my lips. And then I'm going to do one final spray of the Mario Badesco spray. And this is the finished look. It's a very simple, dewy, natural look and it looked so amazing on her. She's just so naturally beautiful. But if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like and if you want to see more content from me, be sure to subscribe and maybe click the notification bell because yes, I upload on Mondays, but I sometimes put in a video on another random day. And if you want to find me on social media, all my socials are at xbethanychanx and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!